with Rosie Owens back with some ideas on teabag folding using recycled security envelopes. Now the security envelopes I'm talking about are what you get, say, your Verizon phone bill. It's uh, If you look on the inside, there's some very nice patterns on them. And that's one of my favorite ones, the Verizon one. But also from Blue Cross and Blue Shield, uh, you get some nice patterns too. What you do basically is find yourself a cube stamp. Um, one that has a pretty much a symmetrical design and you stamp it on the inside and then cut it out or punch it out uh, with, um, I like a, to punch it out because it's a little bit easier when you get more even squares. So once you have your squares, you do your tea bag folding and you can end up with some very pretty cards. Now that one's the inside of the Verizon bill with uh, a lighter color of ink and here it is on red same inside of the envelope uh, the inside of the Verizon bill you can barely see the design of the envelope but it gives it a little more oomph than just plain white now another uh, type that we get often are very very dark black ones and I've got this card started and um, just to show you this would have, uh, instead of the eight pieces, this one has four. I'll add the fourth piece now. And you can see it really makes a nice card. And then add a brad in the middle, and your card is done. Little happy birthday card. So the brad would, would be like that. Now this one spins. You can set it up so that it does spin. It's, it's kind of a nice idea. Now to locate the center, uh, just another little tip, draw an X with a ruler and put a, a pinhole where the two lines intersect or meet, and that's your center. So that helps you line things up. Okay, I would like to show you how to do this particular fold very, very quickly. I'm going to move this out of the way. And once you have your square, again, this is from the inside of a security envelope, you fold it into a triangle, open it up, Turn, fold it into a triangle again. Open it up, make your rectangle fold, open, and your rectangle fold again, and open. Now, this time, uh, you want to collapse, you want to keep it at, as a uh, rectangle. See the rectangle shape? That was our last fold. With the fold at the top, you're going to collapse the left side in, and crease and collapse the right side in. And then you will get a very, very nice looking triangle. Now you're going to, I like to take my handy dandy folder here. This is a, an old credit card. And I put it down the middle so that I know that's the line I'm aiming for. And I fold that down and crease it. Do it with the left side and I do it with the right side. Get it down as neatly as I can. I don't want them to crisscross, I just want them to line up evenly. Now this paper had such a nice pattern and it was so dark, I didn't even bother to stamp anything on it. I just left it like that. Now, you can leave it like that and um, I'll move this card back in and it would be looking like this. But I like to make those two little uh, last end folds just give it a little more oomph and people think you're a genius when they get a card like this. They say, oh, how did you do it? Actually, you can go on uh, Google and just Google teabag folding and you'll find lots and lots of patterns. Okay, and also I have friends that have helped me with teabag folding. So then I open up these two little tips and just squash them down flat. And that's how you get this teabag fold pattern. Now, if you wanted to make this card even fuller, Instead of putting just one, two, three, four, you would make four more and put eight in there, and then it would look like this one. So here's an example of what this card would look like with four. This is a different inside security envelope, but with the same rubber stamp. Or you could add four more and make eight all the way around, and you would end up with something like this. So, I hope you'll try this 
for your tea bag folding, and you uh, might get Al Gore to write you a letter of congratulations saying, hey, you're saving a tree. Thanks for watching. It's Rosie Owens. Bye-bye.